for your mighty acts, God. We thank you for your excellent greatness. We thank you for your mighty power that's flowing through this place. Now, God, we ask you to touch everybody under the sound of my voice. We ask you to bless them in a special way, God, to keep them safe, be a hedge of protection around them. We ask for a supernatural anointing in this service, God. Come in the midst of us and push your way around, God. Release your glory upon us, God. We ask you to drive out all disease and dysfunction, God. We ask you to touch our mental faculties, God. We ask you to touch our body, God. Lift us up from where we are now. God, change us, God. We arrange us, God. Mold us. We ask you to strengthen us and give us power.
Lord today and it's the first Sunday in May 2020 and the Lord has been faithful. There's been some challenges this year, but we can testify that the Lord has been great and he's been faithful. We ought to praise him with everything that we have. For in everything we can give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. We take a moment to certainly send our heartfelt condolences to the Aaron family and the loss of young Sister Marissa, Aaron, God, we pray that you will continue uh, to bless this family. And I pray, family, that we would continue to surround them with a circle of love and affection. And certainly our prayers are welcome as they transition and navigate through this season. And we want you to know uh, that your new J family is here holding down for you in prayer. And if you need us at any time, please, we avail ourselves to each and every one of you, not just her family, but even friends. And she has a young son who's yet here with us that we need to wrap our loving arms and prayers around. Let's continue to remember that it is certainly a time the census is so important. If you have not taken time to fill out the 2020 census, I need for you uh, to delegate, amen, 10 minutes and get online, amen. If you need some help with that, we have people who are willing to help you. We need to have our numbers counted. Everybody matters. Make sure your household is represented, and we're going to ask that you would do that, amen, today. Do it today so you won't forget, amen. Please, ma'am, please, sir, let's make sure that we do that. We're excited by the goodness of the Lord. We know uh, each um, Wednesday we've been praying. We've been calling on the name of the Lord. We've been doing a teaching series on prayer. The Lord has been blessing us in a mighty way. It's the first Wednesday of the month. That means we have Wednesday in the Word. That's right, 7 p.m. We're going to be live teaching the Word of God as we continue to share the lesson. There won't be any noonday class, but at 7 p.m., join us for the Word of the Day as we share Wednesday in the Word. We're excited about Mother's Day as we celebrate all the women of God, all of the mothers. We're excited to celebrate you on May the 10th, which is next Sunday. And I'm asking that you would meet us at the Strobo Field here in Sandusky, Ohio, as we celebrate mothers under an open heaven. We're going to be blessing God. We're going to be praising God. We're going to be sharing the word. You need to come, bring your children, bring your family. Amen. Please remain in your cars. And then let's be orderly. Let's follow the direction of those who are uh, uh, directing the traffic that we can keep things decent and in order. But we plan to worship the Lord. Come, however you feel comfortable. Amen. We're asking all of our membership to meet us there. And friends and family, you're welcome to join us. If you don't have a church home, amen, you're welcome to join us and hang out with us. We're just going to bless the Lord. It is open and it's free. Certainly, if you want to sow a seed, there'll be an opportunity to share that, but it's no pressure. We just want to bless the Lord. I'm excited today. As you see me, I'm a little old school today. I'm wearing this robe. This is the robe of our pastor emeritus, the Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry. We thank God for him for over 40 years. The first Sunday in May has been delegated and consecrated as Dr. Eddie Henry Day. We bless God for this man of God. We don't worship him. We certainly worship God. But we do thank and praise God for the Reverend Dr. Edward Neal Henry, who came to this city in 1972 and served this congregation for 37 years uh, prior to his retirement. And we thank God for him, who is still alive, and he's still yet with us. Amen. We thank God. We love him so very much. He's our father in the ministry. Uh, we are so blessed to have him serve in this capacity and many of you have fond memories of the Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry. I'm grateful today and as we were just brainstorming and trying to do things in this new uh, uh, technology world, uh, I was trying to think what we could do to honor him. I had a message that I wanted to preach and to share, but then I said, man, it would be so cool if I could hear my pastor preach just one more time. It would be so awesome if I could hear him preach. Well, listen, uh, the Lord gave me an idea several years ago uh, to, to kind of preserve some of the rich heritage and history of this church. And if you know anything about New Jay, uh, this year we'll be celebrating 65 years of ministry. And the Lord has been so awesome and so great to this congregation of believers down through the years. And a precious gift in Dr. Henry. And so we wanted to highlight and spotlight uh, who he is and what he has done. And I don't have all day to talk about it, but I do want to give us an opportunity to, to bless God and to hear a man, uh, uh, to hear some of his great accomplishments. And I want to say there's been so many things 
And I want you to Google them and you will see some of those things. But we know that he erected, uh, with the help of the congregation, our current sanctuary in 1975. He's ordained several deacons and several preachers. Amen. He was supportive of women in ministry when it was not popular. He's been so much to so many. He's been a friend, a confidant, a mentor, a pastor, more than a preacher. Amen. More than a great gospel singer. He was uh, and he is still a great man of God. And we ask that you continue to pray for him as he's still uh, growing in grace, growing older in grace. The Lord delays it to come and continues to preserve his life. He will soon be 94 years old, and we bless the Lord for him. So what, what we did, and I thank God for our media team, Jamie, who's helped us as we had this wonderful idea uh, to, to try to find a way to honor him and his preaching and teaching heritage and what we've done. And certainly we've been able to follow out one of his sermons from the archives. Amen. We have several uh, concerts and sermons uh, on, uh, on the history side and archives here at the church. We call it the New J Classics. It's a way that we can preserve this uh, amazing preaching, teaching, singing heritage that is here at this church uh, in Sandusky, Ohio. So I couldn't find anybody else better to preach on Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry Day than the Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry. Amen, amen. So we're gonna to go to a service now. Just bear with us. Uh, we're gonna to go to a service that was uh, recorded live in 1997. Uh, 1997 at the Zion Hill Baptist Church at that time. Uh, at that time it was pastored by the Reverend B. R. Colquitt. Amen. Now known as the City of Zion Church. And you'll see many familiar faces. I want to preface this presentation by saying kind of brace yourself. You're here and see some people who may no longer be with us. Uh, but allow that to kind of minister to your spirit and, and to appreciate how a quick time is and how fast time goes. But then not only that, you'll see some people who have aged a little bit. Uh, we're not as young as we used to be. But allow your mind to go down memory lane as we prepare our hearts to enter into the sanctuary of the Zion Hill of Baptist Church at that time, now the city of Zion Church, and hear the word of the Lord preach by our beloved pastor emeritus, the Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry. Matter of fact, we're going to let our choir do the singing. We're going to let our musicians at that time do the playing. And we're going to enjoy worship that way together as we honor, amen, this great man of God. Will you transition with us now? Matter of fact, let's do it old school. Would you elevate your right hand and say, Pastor Henry, give us the word. Preach, man of God. Preach. Come on, let's go. 1997, talk back. The word of God being preached by the Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry. Enjoy these selections by the choir. Then you will hear the man of God. We'll be back at the end of the service.
could not pay. And did you not know God does not ask you to pay what you demand?
but we just have to be careful. And, 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 and we all know now that this was in the plan of God. Because John had to come as a forerunner. Out there talking about Jesus. My, 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 my. Aren't you glad that he talked about it? Because when you get to talking about Jesus, you're talking about somebody. Come on, let's talk. You're talking about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You're talking about Mary David. You're talking about the rule of Sheriff. You're talking about the bleeding land. You're talking about the war. Hey. 
Wow, what a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing to hear and see our Pastor Emeritus in action. What a preacher, what a man of God. Were you not blessed by the Word of God? And of course, at that time, our Minister of Music, uh, the late Minister Darrell McDonald, and amen, so many. We are just so grateful for the rich heritage. I pray that the Word of the Lord bless you today. Take this opportunity now and just bless the Lord uh, through your seed, through your tithe, through your offering. Come on, New Jay. We know that we must be consistent and all of that even in this. But I want to just see as you're watching, if you have not made the Lord Jesus your choice, even as the song that our pastor sung all the time, why not give God a chance? We've tried everything else. Come on, it's a great day to give your life to Jesus. Accept, believe, confess, repent, and give your life to him, and he will lead you safely. Jesus loves you today, and so do we. Take this time also to sow and worship the Lord through our giving. You can give your seeds via GiveLify. Look for New Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church. And then also, you know, you can always mail it in. 1920 Eddie Henry Way. We're so grateful for this awesome time to be able to worship the Lord together and to honor our man of God, our pastor, our leader, our friend, our brother. Let's take this time even now to pray for Pastor Henry. God, we love you. We thank you. We lift this man of God up to you. God, even as we thank you for the labor of love that he has laid such a foundation, we ask that you would keep his body strong. God, we pray that you would continue to allow us to carry on this vision that we would be Oh God, the liaisons to continue to share your love and your compassion with your people. God, we pray now for send them in, boys, women, and girls, that they will come running. Say, what must I do to be saved? I thank you now for New Jerusalem. Keep us in your care. And then, God, we pray that even with the scholarship fund, that we will sow seeds of kindness that will help young men and women go further their education. We give the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, it's an awesome opportunity. So if you're giving a seed today to our scholarship fund, you can do it also on Give If I just put scholarship fund in the memo, we will make sure that those leaders get that gift as we continue to help uh, people go to college. That was a dream. That was a passion of our pastor emeritus. Well, if you enjoyed this worship experience and you didn't get enough, we have a special blessing for you. We're going to go again at 5 p.m. We're going to premiere another New Jay classic. 
you're going to be able to hear Pastor Henry preach. You'll be able to hear uh, the old choir uh, sing yet again. I believe that is the early 2000s that worship experience is. But I want you to tune in at 5 p.m. for our evening worship as we continue to highlight and spotlight our beloved Pastor Emeritus, the Reverend Dr. Eddie Henry, 5 p.m. We'll be back with the evening service to share with you again. We're getting ready to go. I pray that you sowed your seed. I pray that you will meet us next Sunday at 11 a.m. at Struggle Field as we bless the Lord on Mother's Day. We're going to close this service old school as Pastor Henry would do in the latter days of his ministry singing, Rise, Shine, Give God the Glory. Will you help us sing it? My voice is almost gone. Do the best we can. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you.